Hello and welcome to the first episode of Ask Wally, a series where I answer all the various questions you've asked me. We're going to start with the question, how to know when to give up? The answer to this question depends on two things. Firstly, what do you mean by giving up? Does it mean you sit hands on knees, do nothing and say I quit? Or does it mean you look for other alternatives, other avenues to reach your goal? And secondly, what is the why behind your goal? What is the reason you are pursuing this objective? Is it because you truly deeply want to do it? It's something that you think about, read about every single day? Or is it something that you think you should be doing or your parents told you to do? Let's take an example. Say you want to lose weight and you have these various diets. There's a keto diet, Atkins diet, intermittent fasting, so many others. And you think, okay, I am going to follow one diet that is going to help me lose X kg in Y month. You start with one of these, you start with the first diet and three weeks later, nothing happens and you quit. You say, diets don't work. The whole industry is a sham. I wasted my time. It's all about genetics. I've got bad genes. I can never be slim. And you quit. You're just looking for an excuse to quit because it's too difficult. It is difficult. It takes discipline and effort and all of this over a very long time to see any results. Or when the first diet doesn't work, you go to the second one. That doesn't work, you go to a third one. That doesn't work, you try to understand why you're not losing weight. Maybe you need to exercise more, I don't know. Point being, you have a goal, you have an objective, which is truly your own objective, and you do whatever you can to reach the goal. And that means you are not giving up unless you have explored all possible avenues, all possible angles to reach your goal, because that is truly your goal. Second example, say you want to become an investigative journalist. It's something you're very passionate about. You've read all these books on journalism, all these stories, um, events in, in the world media and trust you a lot. And that's what you want to do. So you apply for jobs. Everybody rejects you. You apply for internships. You get rejected. What do you do? This is not my calling. I'm never going to be a journalist. There is no point. I wasted six months, now let's do some, something else and build a career. Now that is fine, that is okay. There is nothing wrong with thinking like that. It just means this is not what you're supposed to do. Your why, your reason for wanting to become an investigative journalist is not strong enough. Maybe there is some other path, maybe there is some other career you can do which will get you the same objective that you were looking to get out of becoming an investigative journalism. Or, if this is truly your calling for whichever reason, you go back to one of the companies that rejected you and you say to them, I'll do a three month unpaid internship. And if you like what I'm doing at the end of it, we'll talk and discuss. You do a three month internship, at the end of it, you don't get the job. Again, it's a fork in the road. You can quit or you can find alternatives to get to your goal. You start writing a blog, a blog detailing whatever it is that you're passionate about. You start writing every single day. You put your blog online. Eventually, if your content is good, in six weeks, three months, six months, you will get traction. You keep sending these blogs to some of the newspaper editors that rejected you. They will say to you, why don't you come and write for me? If nobody comes back to you and now you need money, you've been out of a job for a while, you start doing a job, but you keep writing in your free time. You wake up one hour early in the morning before, before work and you write. On the weekends you write. You don't go out, meet friends, you don't party, you don't watch movies, you write. Because if this is truly your passion and you keep on doing this and you are good, I guarantee you, you will get traction. Something will open up. It really depends on how truly deeply you want it. So the answer to the question, how to know when to give up, depends on these two things. What is your definition of giving up and the goal you're pursuing? Why is this the goal you're pursuing? Looking forward to your comments, any further questions.
Thank you.